I know many turners are thinking about buying a new lathe or buying their first first lathe and I want to give you my impressions on the new Pyromatic 3520C. Hi y'all, welcome to my shop. Mike Peace Wood Turning. I'm passionate about wood turning and I want to help you become a better turner with tips, tricks, and, and techniques. I bought this Pyromatic 3520B um, Shortly after, but within six months after I started turning, that was at the end of uh, 2007, and I started with a, a Jet 1014 uh, five-speed uh, pulley with belt chains to change the this speed. This is the Jet 1014 mini mini uh, mini lathe. It's got a 10-inch swing. I've since uh, used it primarily as a dedicated uh, buffing buffing machine. And, uh, that was used and, and after I used it for a little while I could tell I was going to be this in this for the long haul I went ahead and just uh, uh, pulled out the checkbook and said and never looked back and I've been very pleased with this Pyromatic. It's a very heavy lathe. Uh, it's solid. It's got a 20 inch uh, span. Uh, it, it's a real workhorse lathe. Uh, there are might be better lathes out there but they cost considerably more money uh, for the improvements you're, you're getting. That that was about 11 years ago, and since then, Pyromatic has come up with a new version of this, the 3520C, and they've changed a few things. I was able to turn on the 3520C in Portland uh, last weekend at the, 19, at the 2018 uh, American Association of Wood Turners uh, Symposium, and I want to give you my reaction to, to that, that lathe. Okay, this is a lathe I'm demonstrating out here at Portland for my my rotations, the new Pyromatic uh, 3520C, uh, you know, I've got the B model. Uh, this is a very nice machine, it's got some nice features, I'm going to touch on a couple of them, but you get your best review if you'll go out, I'll put the link below to uh, Carl Ford's very detailed, thorough review of it if it's something you're, you're interested in, but it's got the, uh, the riser on the feet, so if you're a short person, you don't have to use the the whole thing. Uh, it weighs more, it's, it's beefier. Uh, let me show you a couple of features here that's different from the B model. The control box, got a mag magnet on it, you can move it to the other end of the lathe. Here's the emergency uh, cutoff switch I added to, to mine for just a few bucks, an external uh, box with a paddle, paddle switch. Uh, very easy, and I enclosed it in uh, just a plastic Ziploc bag to keep the dust out of it doesn't interfere with the operation at all and 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 on the new uh, 3520 uh, C you have a whole removable control so you don't need to add on something like this. It also has electronic indexing. I'm not sure how to use it but but uh, you can see the little indexing. It's got an indexing feature. It's got a, a nicer spindle spindle lock that that works works very well uh, for people that. Do a bowl one time on a face plate. The back of the uh, area over the spindle has been reduced in size, which was a complaint for a lot of people. It didn't bother me in my style of turning, but it bothers some some people. Uh, the tool rest is much improved. And the locking on the post is is better. Uh, the Acme threads on the quill is a significant uh, Im improvement. Uh, Looks like the compartment seals a little bit better from from dust. Uh, I kind of like that. The, the one thing I don't like, which is kind of a, a nit, I like to put a rubber band to keep this in a neutral position. Uh, and there was a flat spot on, on the B model, but there's not on this. So, you know, you got to figure out how to fasten it here with, without tearing up the rubber band because if, if it's here on your hand wheel, it's going to, as you turn it, it's going to uh, keep breaking that rubber band. So see the, the more detail went on on Carl, Carl Ford's uh, blog. Mm -hmm.